9-11 can be the toughest of days for us because uh, we lost 658 of our, of our friends and colleagues. I lost my brother, I lost my best friend. So um, instead of just curling up in bed and pulling the covers over my head, we turned this into something uh, beautiful. Hello, Margaret speaking. What's up, Brian? This is DMC and a place to pee, PGC. Timmy, how are you? Good, Bobby V here. What kind of business we got going today, bro? This day means so much. We were one of the first flights to fly in space after 9-11. It really meant a lot to all of us. I was able to you know, see the Earth um, and then look and see the rest of the universe sort of out there. And you realize we're, you know, we're amongst all the chaos. But I would say we are very distinguished amongst the chaos. At night, you can see city lights and New York is a really bright place. A lot of people think of New Yorkers as tough and having no soul and just kind of elbowing people out of the way. New York City is not that. Where am I? What am I doing? Well, this all came about from some tremendous tragedy. So being here is, it's multifaceted. This day where they lost so much, they turn around and give back so much in the name of love. Charity Day means a lot to me. It's nice to see all these people coming together. It's my fourth year. I know a lot of these faces now, and it's like a family thing. All of our employees, all of them, they waive their day's pay. There are so many charities that get helped, and a lot of them are, you know, smaller charities that uh, really need the help. They're not saying, hey, come acknowledge us. us. You know, they're saying, hey, Thank you for being here. We want to help your charity. It's very artistic. 14 years ago brought people together so that it wasn't about themselves, it was about others, and it was about uh, giving, and uh, today's a real giving day. We arrive, do a little red carpet action, and then they just throw us out on the training floor and say, good luck. Colin Quinn now, he is on the floor, guys. I'm making trades. Big trades. Yeah, I don't think I did any damage to our economy. We'll see what happens. I just did what they told me, which is what I usually do when I was in space anyway. Did you have a technique? No, I just yell in the phone, just like all the other guys do. You know, get it done right now, 50 at 50, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I'm good at yelling. Right? You know, the whole thing anyway. <laughs> just <laughs> speak with authority right. when you have none. There is a technique. I'm using my French accent. Oh, you're French, huh, from where? Sometimes I guilt somebody on the other side to give a little bit more. You're selling, you're selling to Webster Bank, to Webster Bank. I wish I could describe it, but in order to describe it, I would have to understand just the, at least the bare bones of what in God's name is going on, which I don't. Trades is crazy. The trades is crazy. So yours, 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 ten dollars in one mine. month. No, no, yours, mine. yours, mine. yours. Mine. yours. Mine. yours. Mine. You want me to come down and have a Philly cheesesteak with you? Okay. okay. He's giggling. I'd rather be in front of uh, forty thousand people at Yankee Stadium than trying to trade millions of dollars at a time. I definitely need the support of, of, of the traders to give me the right information. Slow. I need a script. <laughs> <laughs> I read. I read cue cards. Yeah, I remember doing this last year thinking I could never be so pumped and excited so early in the morning. At the end, they say, it's done, it's done, and everybody claps, and you know, it's a trip. It's going to be done. Yeah. I'm talking about this. It's done. It's a pleasure working and rocking with you, PGC, and a place to be doing things for people like we always do. This is fun. I don't think I do for a living, <laughs> but this is fun. I think the energy just comes from the fact that everybody has a common purpose for being here. I'm really grateful that I have the opportunity to reach out to a lot of people. There was a time when I wished I could have had someone help me along that way. That's the way to heal, is to heal each other. Nothing would stop me from coming year after year. When families of people we lost on 9-11 met other families, and they would tell stories about their son or daughter, you know, the parents. They were remarkably similar stories. You know, my son, he lived with such gusto, and then the other one would say, well, that describes my son or my daughter. And that's the most important thing for me, is to keep speaking of them always. Just to see them uh, regroup and do what they've done is, is, is tremendous. It shows what the human uh, spirit is, is all about. Every September 11th, you wake up and you remember the day. My brother-in-law, who works here, you know, lost hundreds of friends that he'd known for all those years. New York City's a family. 
It's direct. New York City is a town of passion. If you were a space voyager coming from a different place and you wanted to go where the action was, you'd come right to New York City. That's why I don't believe in that we've been visited by any aliens, because they wouldn't go out in the middle of Montana. They would come right here. I went to the museum last week. It was amazing, and it was, it was really, really special and really powerful, and I think they've, there's a lot of pride in that area now and in, in general throughout New York City. I had an office with Howard on the 101st floor of the North Tower, and I'm honored to be here today. For me, Charity Day, kind of represents how quickly life can change. And even after tragic or traumatic events, people can still come together and accomplish great things. And in the end, uh, we're all brothers and sisters and we all need to support each other. It's a global initiative now. I know BGC and Kenner Fitzgerald, they have offices all over the world. Honoring not just those families, but all those who were helping and who are just part of this, the, this history. And let's pray that uh that makes the world more compassionate. They lost 658 people, but they're probably touching 658,000 lives. And that's what we're supposed to do. 9-11 is the worst day of my life, and in many thousands of Americans' lives. And to come here and seeing smiling people, happy people, uh, raising money for many, many causes. It's just uh, warms my heart that something so bad could be turned into something so good.